Okay, welcome back. In the previous lecture, you learned about the three steps, divide, times, and minus, and we learned how to have a remainder of one. Now we're going to get an assortment of remainders, mostly twos and threes. So let's just practice what we learned in the previous lecture. We'll do four sums together, and then you'll do two on your own, and then we'll look at them together. So let us begin. Three, oh, what's the closest we can get on the three times table to 26? Three times eight because 3 times 8 will be 24. So that's our divide step, 3 times 8. Okay, now our time step, 8 times 3 is 24. Okay, we've done our times. Now our minus step, 26 minus 24. 6 minus 4 is 2, and 2 minus 2 is nothing. So that's our minus step done. And this 2 is going to be the remainder, remainder 2. Okay, very easy. Next one. First, our divide step. What's the closest we can get 3 to 23? I would say 3 times 7, because that gets us to 21. So let us do that as our divide step. Okay. Now our time step. 7 times 3 is 21. Now our minus step. 23 minus 21, so 3 minus 1 is 2, and 2 minus 2 is nothing, so that's remainder 2. Next one, dividing step first. What's the closest we can get on the 3 times table to 17? Possibly 15, because 3 times 5 is 15. Let us go and say a 5 for our divide step, 3 times 5 is 15. Now our time step. 5 times 3 is 15. Now a minus step, 17 minus 5. Uh, sorry, 17 minus 15. So 7 minus 5 is 2, and 1 minus 1 is nothing. So that's our minus step done, and we're going to write the 2 as the remainder, remainder 2. Okay, last one that we do together before you're going to practice. What's the closest 4 can get to 35? Well, we know 4 times 9 is 36, so that's too far. So what about 4 times 8, which is 32? Let's try that. 4 times 8. That's our divide step done. Now our time step, 8 times 4 is 32. Now our minus step. 5 minus 2 is 3, and 3 minus 3 is nothing. So this is a remainder. That's our minus step done, and a remainder of 3. Okay, you got that now. You're understanding it better. Okay, so this screen, you're going to press pause. And then when you're done doing this sum on your paper at home, you're going to come and press play, and we'll look at the answers together. Okay, so I assume that you're back with your answer. What's the closest we can get on the 5 times table to 48? Probably 5 times 9, because that comes to 45. 5 times 10 will be too much, because that will be a 15 anyway. We can't write two digits down. So... 5 times 9. So we're going to do a 9 here, and that's going to be our divide step done. Then our time step. 9 times 5 is 45. That's our time step done. Now our minus step. 8 minus 5 is 3, and 4 minus 4 is nothing. That's our minus step done, and that's our remainder now. Remainder 3. Did you get that? Okay, so you've got another chance to practice. Here's one more. This is the last one in the lecture, so press your play after you've finished doing this. So first you're going to press pause, write it down on paper, solve it at home, and then come and press play. Okay, so I'm assuming you've done it now. What's the closest 7 can get to 24? 7 can get to 21. That's the closest we can get to. So that's 7 times 3. That's our divide step done. Now our time step. 3 times 7 is 21. Time step done. Now our minus step. 4 minus 1 is 3, and 2 minus 2 is nothing. It's a minus step done, so we write that as a remainder 3. Okay, how did you do on that one? I hope you managed, uh, and that you're building your confidence. These lectures only really, you know, increment in tiny steps, so uh, the next lecture you will understand uh, with this knowledge, you'll be able to grasp the next concept quite well. See you in the next lecture.